Hey there, if you've been looking at the Allen Heath Avantis console, you're probably aware of what an incredibly powerful digital mixer this is. 96 kilohertz, 64 channels, 42 buses, dual HD screens, compressors and limiters on every channel, incredible effects models, extensive routing, an absolute beast that's perfect for any live venue or house of worship. My name is David Wills with ProAudioExp.com and I want to give you a quick but thorough overview of the Avantis in only just a few minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, the Avantis is all about layers. You have six layers on the left hand side, six on the right hand side. On the left hand side, the first five are all of your different inputs and then finally your effects returns. On the right hand side, we have our DCAs our AUX sends in mono, then stereo, then our effects sends, and then our subgroups and matrix mixes. And finally, the last one is just blank. You can set that up any way you like. Truth is, you can set up any layer in any way you like, but that's the way it's set up when it's right out of the box. So the first thing to think about is if we go over here and say we're able to bring up our first input here, all we need to do is select that and then you have all of this processing for that particular channel right there. Let's start up at the top. This is where you set your source. So where I, where is this channel going to get its source? And you have all of these uh, selections right here. It can be unassigned. It can be your local sockets, which is your XLRs in the back, and then all of these other um, inputs uh, that are mentioned just down here. I'm just going to set this up to a local socket here and apply that. You can see that uh, I can just turn the dial and I can go through any of those particular uh, inputs that are on the rear panel. And then I hit apply. And then now we have a local input coming into this first channel, which is then going out to our main left and right bus. Now, one thing I will mention is that when you're building a mix on your Avantis, these buttons along here, these blue buttons are key. In other words, that when you start out, if this is the left and right bus here and this is selected, then all of these faders are just building a mix over to your left and right bus. So for example, if you went over here to say our effects sense, if I selected that, now all of these same faders are now effects sends because we have this selected. You get that? We go over here to our main left and right. This is our main left and right uh, mix that we're building. Go over here and then these are now AUX sends out to that effect send. Okay, so back to our first input channel here. You can see under processing, we have all of these different tabs, uh, your parametric EQ, your compressor. You have two insert effects, either before the parametric EQ and compressor or after that as you like. And then any changes you make, so if I went here in the parametric EQ, you can either select a particular parameter and then change that with the dial here, or else you can just grab uh, right here on the screen and I'm going to make up a crazy EQ. And then if you want to save anything that you've done, pretty much in any of these tabs, you'll have a library. So in this parametric EQ, I can save just the EQ there. I can just name that EQ and apply that. Now, if I was to go over to say another, certainly imagine if I went over number 10 here and I said, man, that EQ where it was totally boosted up there and totally dragged down there, that was an awesome EQ. Let me recall that. So I'll go across here, hit EQ and I can recall that. Now, an easy way to do that is that if I go back to this first one here and hold down copy, I could copy just that parametric EQ and then paste that to another channel. And you can see that's brought up over here. You don't just need to do that with say just a subset of processing. You can copy an entire channel if you like. We'll go ahead and hold down copy and I'll copy input number one's complete processing and then I could paste that over here. And along the same lines, you can see reset down here. I could hold that down and reset just a subset of the processing or all of these ones here. So I could reset all of these ones back here. By the way, 
If you wanted to store an entire channels, you could go up here with, this is where we name our input and underneath channel library, you could store the entire channels processing uh, in a library. Okay, let's talk DCAs. On the right hand side of your Avantis, the first layer here, are your DCAs. There's actually 16 DCAs, but just the first eight are brought up on this particular layer. And if you've never used DCAs before, they're a great way, it stands for Digitally Controlled Amplifier. Basically, it's a way to remote control, just with one fader, a bunch of other faders, whatever is assigned to this particular fader. I actually have some drums up here uh, coming through the network, uh, one through nine are our drums. Let's assign that uh, all of our drums over to this DCA. So I'll select it first, go into routing, and all I need to do is just select one through nine. And then now, let me just pull these other DCAs out of the way. Now, when I play, okay, I could, if I wanted to bring down the drums uh, here and keep all of these relative, um, uh, let me just bring that down, bring all of them down and up relative to each other, that's a pain in the butt. You wouldn't be able to do that. Certainly you wouldn't be able to do that if they lived on separate layers. But right now, boom. In fact, if we go back here, you can see all of these members. So one through nine are now assigned to this. Let me pull these, these down here. But you can do the same thing with your guitars or your vocals or anything like that. So really once you have everything set up in DCAs, you can do a lot of mixing, just like bringing up the drums, writing the vocals, all of this stuff just done from just a single fader. Okay, let's talk mute groups. We'll go underneath setup here, mute groups, and we have eight different mute groups. And instead of just muting uh, each channel just one at a time, you can say, okay, in mute group one, I just want to mute one through four. And then as soon as you set that up, then you hit this and that will mute them automatically. And you can have eight different setups for that. You can even set them up so they will come up on these soft keys as well. One thing to note when we went back here, the DCAs, when they're, when various members are assigned to that, if you mute that DCA, that will also be a quick way of muting a subgroup of inputs. Okay, let's talk aux sends. Underneath the right hand side, under layer B, we have eight mono auxes and then five stereo auxes. So let's imagine that you are setting up just a monitor mix going out to a floor wedge or an in ear monitor. All you need to do is hit mix, and then now all of these faders will then be the blend of whatever you're sending out to that. So if this is going out to say a floor wedge and your lead vocalist was saying, you know what, I need a little kick, a little snare, a little hat, um, and also give me some bass and some guitar and a bunch of piano. Everything that I've just done here has affected that mix because we have the blue button set up here. If this was over at our left and main left and right, then this is the blend of all these channels going out to the main left and right. Over here, this is the blend going out to our aux sense. Okay, so let's talk effects now. Let's go down to the effects tab and we have 12 slots for all of these effects. The first one, we've got reverbs, delays, all of that stuff. I mean, if you added this up, Back in the old days, kids, when I was mixing live with external effect processes, this would be thousands and thousands of dollars, probably more expensive than this entire mixer with what you have set up uh, right here. So if I close that out and we go over to the D on the right hand side, this is our effect sense. Now remember before I said that if this is selected, then these faders are what is going out to the left and right. When we went over to our auxes and selected that, this would be our aux sends. Same thing, we go over to D here, select that, and now these are sends to our reverb. Okay, so let me just play something here. Uh, the snare drum. You hear that? So let's imagine I put bunch of reverb on the kick and then I go over to echo here set that up and now I have echo on my snare that easy 
Okay, if you want to store everything in your Avantis, we'll go underneath Utility and Memory and Show Manager, and then you can store, that will store everything within your mixer. Now that's not something you're gonna be doing in the middle of a song or between songs. It takes a few seconds for this to set up, so this is something that you do before you actually uh, get to your performance. If you wanna switch things around while you're in a performance or in between songs, that, that's all done underneath scenes here. So let's imagine uh, we wanna set up a scene here and we are gonna set all these faders all the way up. I'm gonna store that and I'm gonna name that up. And then I'm going to put them all down and I'm going to select this next one. I'm going to store that one and I'm going to call that one down. And then we'll go midpoint, do a bit of a smiley face, whatever you want to do there. Select the next one here and I'm going to store that one and call that one say mid. So now I can go ahead and recall any of them anytime I like. Hit up and go, go down to the, all the way to the bottom, go there. And then if you don't wanna, if you want this to be very, very quick and you don't want that confirmation screen to be going on, then hold down options, scene options, you can turn that off. That way you can just go straight here and go, midpoint, go, down, go, it's that quick. And a really useful thing to do is to assign these uh, to these soft keys down here. You could you could assign a particular scene just at one of these buttons and with that uh, scene confirmation um, uh, warning set to off, then you can have one touch operation just to set up your console exactly the way you want it in an instant. Now, I know that's not everything within the mixer, but I thought it'd be just a kind of a quick introduction on what, um, on what the Avantis is all about. But if you've been trying to patch together a, a way of learning this incredibly powerful mixer by endlessly searching all over the internet and YouTube and you know maybe had some frustration uh, in that process, I have some really, really good news uh, for you. I've produced over 70 courses on equipment just like this. And it's my distinct pleasure to say that we've just released a brand new course on the Allen Heath Avantis. Our brand new video course is the your is basically your one-stop solution to learn everything you need to know about this console and all of its incredible uh, features. I've really just begin to just kind of scratch the surface of what your Avantis can do uh, in this little video here. The course is in much much more uh, detail. Now, if you're very familiar with digital consoles, we go deep in this course. But if you're a newbie, or maybe someone who comes from, say, an analog uh, console background, we've absolutely got you covered uh, too. There's there's even a part in the course called Mixing 101 that shows you everything you need to know about mixing consoles in terms of how channels uh, work, how processing work um, works, how subgroups and DCAs works, how to basically route anything to anything in this very, very capable uh, mixer here. And so just, just so you know who your instructor is, I've mixed thousands of live events in both houses of worship and then also worked on world tours at the highest level uh, with Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and Phil Collins, I absolutely, I know you can tell, I love teaching and I can't wait for you to join me uh, on this course. And if you're on the fence with this, just know that all of our courses come with 30 day money back guarantee uh, on all those courses. I've taught hundreds of thousands of folks just like you. So go ahead and head over and check out our review section on our website to see hundreds of reviews from people just like you who have really, really uh, benefit from our uh, courses. Uh, this course is a good one. It was so much fun uh, to put it together. So if you're interested, please click through to the buy now button and I'll see you in the course. You're just minutes away from stopping your frustration and becoming an absolute master of your Avantis.